this is a very nice and highly collectible and the the uh, error notes are very rare this is an ink error this is an overprint this is an overprint overprint ink era this is all from the BP a lot of people even myself years ago and in the beginning you didn't know that these notes had such value and such errors occurred the over ink you know any era on these notes are, are very very rare and very expensive it could be from a different you know prefix it could be from a different suffix which is the after letter of the serial number it could be a you know missing seal it could be a stuck digit where the digits come way up or it could be misaligned where the serial number goes all the way into here I, I, go, I go on and on I do have so many examples and actually better than these examples that I'm gonna be uploading soon on my channel please subscribe to my channel I would highly appreciate it and let me know if you have any questions or any comments like I said I'm gonna zoom in and these are over inking from the BP when these were printed a lot of people even including myself years ago didn't you know think it was anything of it and you didn't do anything about it or collect it or put it away so what I say to you guys out there like I do if you see any of these notes and you think for any reason keep your eyes open all you know of course that it looks different just put it aside wait research it learn you know go through the uh, you know the different sites the different books and all you know there's just so much out there to um, research anything on the best thing to do is just you know keep your eyes open I mean you clearly see these of course you have to be familiar you know that you're looking you know for any type you know type of errors because you know even myself in the beginning I didn't know that these you know error notes existed and there was, you know, other, I have so many different examples and specimens. What I do is, if I'm not sure about anything, I just put it aside and I wait. And then I research and learn instead of just trading it in for the face value. But you can see the over inking clearly, you know, from the BP. And this is a pretty good example. I do have you know way better examples and a lot of goodies that you know coming out for you guys i'd like to teach you the values of these federal reserve notes these notes are worth you know substantial amount of money especially like we said if we find any errors if we find any significance in these serial numbers if these serial numbers were you know solid ones you know you'd have a couple grand here if they were solid ones with a star you probably might have a unique piece here you know so on and so forth there's different gutter folds there's different inversions i've seen on serial numbers i've seen seals missing i've seen you name it i mean it's out there i mean there's just amazing i think that collecting error notes to me you know I, i've been i've been collecting the united states you know paper money these federal reserve notes for decades actually Hey, I'm not saying how old I am, but you know what I mean. But like I said, and then I think that the errors are just like really, I, I just think it's a really good note because the errors are rare. You know, the stars, the this, the that, you see them all the time here. You know, you do see them. I mean, they're rare, but they're not like, you know, rare like these error notes or mistakes or inversions or you'll see a lot of the over green that's really nice i'm going to show you guys i have so many di different things to teach you about and talk to you about in these beautiful notes and it could be that you might have one of these on you right now you might have one of these that you're going to be picking up in the uh you know bank tomorrow or if you might own a store or you might work in a store you know you know you just keep your eyes uh 
Keep your eyes open out there.